Hey everyone, welcome to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa, I am The Crafty Author, and we are not in my quilting studio today. We are actually sitting outside of my local sewing store. I just wanted to chat and just talk a little bit about, I guess, what's going on. So we'll call this my car vlog, I guess. <laughs> I don't normally do this, so this is a little bit awkward for me to do, but um, I'm here because I'm here to pick up the uh, Bernina upgrade for my Bernina machine. Um, I was here on, I want to say Friday or Saturday too. I don't remember which day. Friday, I think. Um, because my machine stitches were not turning out correctly, and so... I was trying to troubleshoot and figure out what needed to be done to fix it. Well, I did all the things and it wasn't fixing it. So the next thing was to get a new bobbin case for my machine. And so that's what I did. I had to come and get that. And that was an expensive little booger too, let me tell you. Um, 129 bucks for a bobbin case for my machine. I was like, what? Um, anyway, but my machine takes the jumbo bobbins, so it kind of makes sense that it would be a little bit more. I also, um, so while I was here, sorry, I had kind of asked them if they could order me the upgrade for the Bernina. So what it does is it basically makes your Bernina, it turns it into, instead of just the QE, it turns it into the QE+. Plus. You get a ruler foot and some other goodies with it. You can uh, try to think what else it does. It just basically upgrades your machine to the plus and it gives you some extra embroidery um, software stuff. So that is what we are doing. So that's what we're here to pick up today. Um, I'm going to my grandson's soccer game this evening, so by the time that this airs, I'll probably be there watching him play soccer, and I haven't really done a whole lot. I, I missed last week because I was not feeling very good, um, and I also had thrown my back out, and I'm not really sure what I did to do that. I have a bad back anyway. But um, I managed to throw it out somehow, and that really was just not too fun. So, yeah. So I was down. I was relaxing and trying to get well so that I could do more stuff. And I am feeling a little bit better. My back's still giving me some troubles, but um, hey, you know how it goes, right? Um, I do suffer from fibromyalgia, so that also does um, make things a little more difficult for me at times. Um, we had a lot, we had a big snowstorm. Um, we probably got 15 inches at our house, but some areas got three feet of snow here. Um, like even not in the mountains. So yeah, we got a lot of snow last week. So that was kind of a, an issue too. I kind of wonder if that wasn't um, actually playing into my my back being out and hurting so much and my legs and just my whole body basically. Cause you know, as you get older, things just start to fall apart <laughs> or so it seems. Anyway, um, I can't see without those. Uh, I curled my hair today. It's looking like, I don't know, a hot mess because my hair doesn't like to curl and then it just gets fuzzy and silly and all that good stuff. So that's why I'm looking kind of crazy today. Uh, let's see what else. I have a lot of catching up to do. So Sawtooth Star Quilt, we are still making the blocks. Um, I have enough videos up now, I think, to where you could probably get on there and start making them on your own. Um, you can move ahead 
Uh, so I'm going to be moving ahead. I'll still post videos on how I'm doing it, but um, as far as making the star block itself, you should be able to move on and do all your 40 squares. I haven't done mine yet. I'm still working on them. So I plan to sit down and just whip them out and get it done so we can get this quilt done. Also, um, we're gonna be doing a border around that and I'm trying to decide on what kind of border I want to put on it yet. Um, and then we will start, once we get the border pieced, we will start working on piecing the back. So, and I know a lot of you are really excited about that. So that'll be coming up here soon. And I'm trying to think what else. Um, I have a lot of stuff to show you, lots of sales that are coming up um, that I want you to be aware of because now would be a good time to take advantage of some sales. And um, I got something that is really cool from Designs and Machine Embroidery that I'm super excited to tell you guys about and show you. Um, it's, you're going to want it. I just know you're going to want it. <laughs> And ask me how I know that you're going to want it because uh, when I opened it up, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So you're definitely going to want it, especially if you do embroidery. You're going to really want this. So they just have some of the coolest um, gadgets for making life easier when you're doing embroidery and quilting and sewing and all that jazz. But um, anyway... I just have just been chilling, relaxing, taking care of me. Um, I traveled a lot and it was awesome to travel and I feel very fortunate to travel, but I'm really, when I got back, I was so tired and I just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. And I really just needed, I think, to take some time and just kind of listen to my body and and relax because that's what happens sometimes, you know, life gets in the way, unfortunately. And, you know, like I said, I am, I am human, so I'm not like a superhuman where I can just go, 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 you know. Um, I am in my 50s and I do have fibromyalgia and I do have other health issues and things like that. So, you know, I have to really listen to my body. I really wish that I could do like when I was younger, where I could just sit down and knock a quilt out in no time. I mean, I used to be able to piece a, at least a baby quilt in a whole day. And now I can't even do that. It takes me a while to do just because my hands get sore, my shoulders, um, my body just is like, nope, we're not doing this. So I have to take it in steps and take it slow. Um, I've even noticed that with making the blocks for the sawtooth star, it really is a lot to like trim down those blocks and you know, it just, it gets to my, it gets to me. And if you'll remember a couple years ago, I actually broke my thumb on this side and had a cast all the way up to my elbow and that caused issues with my wrist so now I can't put any pressure down on this wrist and so that makes it kind of hard to do things you know without having it slip and slide and put an extra pressure on there that makes it hurt and man I just sound like a I sound like I'm complaining but I'm not I'm just I'm just trying to let you know that I too am human so um, sometimes life gets me, <laughs> it just does. And so anyway, oh, and then I had to go to the dentist last Tuesday, right? I, I was going to tell you all about this, but I forgot. So I went to the dentist because I have a cracked tooth. My molar in the back is cracked. Now I'm one of these lucky people who have never had any cavities or anything like that ever in my life. I've never had to have dental work done except for when I had my wisdom teeth pulled out when I was like 19, 18 or 19. And 
the dentist that I went to was so good that I didn't even, I didn't even feel it when he did that. And also, um, like I didn't swell up really bad. My face didn't swell and I was eating food that same night. So I know crazy, but that was the most dental work that I've ever had done aside from just regular cleanings. So I went into the dentist because I thought for sure they were going to have to do a crown or a, a, a root canal on that tooth. And this one also is cracked, but I got such great news. I didn't have to have any of that done. And I was really freaking out because I hate the dentist. They, I'm so scared of the dentist. So anyway, um, I did not have to have my, I didn't have to get a crown or a root canal. Um, but they told me that they could actually seal it so that it won't crack anymore because my tooth is not damaged from the, the crack. It's just from old age. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? I still sometimes think of myself as being like 30 because I feel 30 mentally, but, um, my body is like, no, you're not. So anyway, so yeah, so I can get that sealed or they told me I could use some Sensodyne toothpaste and that would help seal it and stop the sensitivity. So I'm going to give that a try and see how that works. I go back in four months, so they'll check that. And they also clean my teeth. So that was good because that needed to be done too. Um, so that's really all I have for you. I just wanted to stop and just chit chat real quick and just say hi and let you know that I'm still alive and that I'm okay and that, um, yes, I am aware that I'm behind and, <laughs> and that I will be picking up the pace here. So anyway, I hope you all have a terrific rest of your day and a wonderful week, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.